morning, guys. Hi. Today is Saturday, August 29th, all day. All night. And this week, it's going to be the August Horror Pack. I got some packages from some Instagrammers and YouTubers. I got something from Best Buy, something from eBay, and something from Amazon. So we're just going to dive right in and show you everything that we have. We got so a nice variety. Oh, yeah. So the first thing we're going to do is the August Horror Pack. It's that time of the month again. Oh, yes, it Not is. Not like that. But it is. That Let's time see of the what month. we got. So we're just going to dive right in as we usually do. Horror Pack is a monthly subscription of four DVDs or four Blu rays. Like I've said in many videos, back toss. I've been getting these since day one. So. He has all. The exclusives, 50. yeah. Well, with this one, I'll have all 50 exclusives. <laughs> And the Let's first see one is. What we got. Ooh. Speaking of exclusive, spoiler, we got. Number 50. Number 50. And this one is. Arag Agoraphobia. Yes. Yeah. It's the Hard Pack Limited Edition. And as you can see right on the front, there's Tony Todd, Candyman. She thought she was safe inside. I know. Leave a comment if you don't want me to read the backs anymore of her. <laughs> And it has, on the back, the director's signature. I don't know who directed this because it's so dark. Because they do, again, dark gray on black, so you can't see anything. But L something. Yeah. Agoraphobia is pretty much people that are scared to go outside of their house. There was a movie that was out a while ago with Sigourney Weaver called Copycat. And she pretty much stayed in her apartment and once she walked out of her apartment, she started getting dizzy and everything else. And it's just people that never want to leave their house. They're scared to be out in public. They're hermits? Yeah. Scared, they're pretty, <laughs> yeah. Scared to be around yeah. people. But as Marie said, this one's number 50. So really happy to have that one. I'll check that one out. I usually never pull out the exclusive first. I know. All right. Next one. Ooh. And I have Uncensored. this movie. Director's cut. Oh, yeah. And this is the uncensored director's cut. Spoiler. Of Lords of Chaos. We have that one. Yeah. I pretty much pre-ordered this and got it from Bull and Moose oh, right wait. when it came out. You have it with the slip. Yes, I do. There you go. For all you slip Nazis out there. Oh, yeah. Right about there. Boom. <laughs> but <laughs> Thank um, you. This was a decent movie. I already watched it. I actually enjoyed it. This is pretty much... Uh, a biopic of the band Mayhem and pretty much how they started and their crazy story after with um, everything that went on with that band. Till, and I haven't seen it. Yeah. And it's really good. It's pretty much the band that pretty much started Norwegian death metal. And it's, like I said, it was a really good film. There's a lot of controversy in the Norwegian death metal scene about... A lot of this movie is a bunch of lies. That's why, where is it? On the front, I think it says it. Or it says it somewhere on this thing. Oh, based on truth and lies. There you go. Because pretty much, you know, they say some of it is truth and some of it is complete BS. Especially a lot of people in that scene and a lot of bands. You know, when this film was being made, it was very controversial because they tried to get actual bands from that scene to put their you know to use their music for this and none of the bands wanted to use their music they wanted to stay completely far away from this movie so a lot of the music in here is pretty much just generic music that they made just for the movie oh yeah it's written sideways in dark gray on black exactly there you go that's but why you can't say bass i would say check this out truth and lies this one will be going up for sale because i already have it Next one. The envelope, please. Uh, Another one going up for sale. Brand new factory seal. And I have this one with a nice lenticular slip. Yep. And we both enjoyed it. And yes. it is The Shallows with Blake Lively. Oh, this good. Yeah. This is pretty much about a, a girl. A girl and a shark. And it's not the your typical type of shark. It's no. pretty much a shark serial killer that pretty much wants to kill you. It was very enjoyable. We actually really liked it. Yeah. Yeah. So, up for sale. 
Next one. She's left stranded with a shark friend. Hopefully. Last one. Hopefully number 50 uh, exclusive is not the only one that I don't, I didn't have. Bag toss. Mm. And, oh, I didn't own this one. I was reading the tag one. <laughs> and this one is Rites of Passage. Never seen or oh, heard of this I haven't one. haven't seen it. Sex, drugs, and an antique ritual. Uh, anthropo anthropology. Anthropopahagus? Anthropopahagus? If you've been watching our videos. Yeah. Anthropology <laughs> 101 is a killer. But it looks super cheese-tastic, low budgery. Low but budgery? I like low that. Low budgery. <laughs> but it's the back yeah. right there. Yeah. This... This... Doesn't look good. Put out my magnet. Yeah, put out my magnet so you know it's going to be a Dollar Tree. Mm -hmm. I say by the end of this year, you'll find this at Dollar Tree. But, hey. Maybe. Hey, I don't know. It's no arrow. I know. That for sure it is not. And this is from, directed by the writer of Varsity Brews and co-writer of The Patriot Game and Point Break. This one might be a, a one-time watch, not make the shelf. But we'll see. That is everything from August Horror Pack. So the next thing we're going to dive into is a box that I got from Matt Wilson on Instagram. Um, he messaged me, I forgot when it was, probably like three weeks ago. And he said, hey, uh, do you have this title? And I said, no. If it wasn't for Marie, I wouldn't have bought this title because it's not my bag, but it's Marie's bag. So I kind of, I kind of got this <laughs> for Marie, and he's like, "Do you want?" It? I said, "Sure." He said, "Well, just pay for the shipping, and I'll send it your way." I said, "All right, oh. awesome." So he packaged it up, real nice, off, really nice, lot of bubbles, box, and he put it in an Amazon envelope. Because he knows how the U.S. Postage Service works. Yeah. And this is from Marie. I've actually seen him live. Yeah. And a lot of our videos always have this. And it is yep. Jeff Dunham's very special Christmas special. Christmas. <laughs> but Marie likes Jeff Dunham and his puppets. I like Me, the puppetry. Not so much. I've seen his stand-up on Comedy Central back, back in the day with his... Pretty much his puppet on the stick and peanut and you know all of that, but I think they're fun. I'm not. I've said it plenty of times. I'm not a comedy guy. The guy doesn't make me laugh. I don't know. I don't know but, if Crazy Joe would like these puppets. But yeah, I don't know. I picked it up for Marie. I'm happy for that one. Thank yeah. you. Down in the description down below will be his Instagram. You know, check him out. Give him some likes. Give him a follow. Next thing we're gonna go with is. This that came from, make sure I don't flash my address. This came from <laughs> Sean. Um, again, in the description down below will be his Instagram. He just started a new Instagram. He had a private one. And because now he's been getting a, a lot of followers that are collectors, because he's a collector as well. He actually started uh, a different Instagram just to post movies and pickups. So, uh, the last time when I talked to him, I think two days ago, this he just uh, set it up. And he's going to actually start making YouTube videos. He doesn't have a channel yet, but, you know, check him out on Instagram. Likes, follows, and sooner or later he'll post on Instagram mm -hmm. when he starts his YouTube. But he, like I said, messaged me out of the blue a while ago. I think closer to the beginning of the year and say, hey, uh, did you ever see this movie? I'm like, no, but I really want to see it. But I've been waiting for the price to drop and I haven't found it cheap yet. It and he says, oh, you got to check it out. It's really good. I said, you know, sooner or later I will. I have plenty to watch. <laughs> so um, he messaged me, let's say Saturday. He messaged yep, me. Yeah, he messaged me last weekend or Monday. And he said, uh, have you seen the movie yet? I said, no, nope, nope. I still haven't found it cheap, but I still really want to see it. And he said, um, all right, give me your address. I'm going to 
buy it for you. This is I like said, you needing to send Rick, Alita. You need yeah. to see this. So he's like, I'm going to ship it to you. I'm like, really? You don't have to. He goes, no, I want to. I want to send you the movie. I said, all right, sweet. So I sent him my address. He went on Amazon and shipped it third party to me as a gift. And Happy belated birthday. <laughs> yeah. That was nice of you. There's a couple of pieces of paper inside. We'll start with those. You got a few here. Yeah. This one says pretty much what the film is. Don't need that. Because <laughs> we don't usually read the backs. This I one, haven't been lately. This one says they sent you a thank you note. Don't need that. <laughs> And then the last one is the one I'm keeping. I'm going to put it inside the film. And it says, a gift from you. Dear Joe, Marie, and Gary. As yeah. a young collector, I really enjoy your channel. It makes me feel like I'm part of this big movie loving family. Ha 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 ha. Of course you are. You both seem so nice. I hope you enjoy the film. Stay safe out there. From Sean. I know, like I said, I really, that's a really nice that note. That was really nice. I really appreciate it. Like I said, I'm going to stick it in with the film. And if the film doesn't make the shelf, this will go in my envelope of notes. That's how I pretty much do it. But I'm by, you know, like I said, by me wanting to see this movie for so long, I almost say it's going to make the shelf. Mm -hmm. But I can't say exactly. I haven't seen it yet either. But I'll put the note right there for now. But, pew, bag toss. There you go. And I had to open this, it's by the way. I haven't watched it yet, but I had to open it because when they showed up, oh, yeah. Amazon is a bunch of savages, the disc was loose. So we operated right away. Yeah. If it was a, a 4K Blu-ray, I would have left it sealed and fixed it on camera. But this has the Blu-ray DVD, and if the DVD was loose, I didn't want it to get scratched. And it is The Villainous. Update. I mean... Update. The disc was fine. Yeah, the disc was fine. It was the Blu-ray yeah. that came loose. It's pretty much the villainous. And Endless Vengeance Begins. Is One... it like uh, the chick version? Like Kill Bill? No, it looks like... She looks badass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she looks like the chick version to It Man. Kind of. Oh, that's she what looks... I meant. It Man now? Well, it says... Uh... Kill Bill is a woman. Yeah. I think I meant to say It Man. Yeah. It says... Um... Pretty much like Kill Bill, La Femme Nikita, and John Wick all oh, together. Oh, sign me up. Yeah. Because... I, I really like John Wick movies. And if you haven't seen John Wick movies, Movie Edge or anybody else, yeah. uh, I suggest you... Check them out. Check them out, definitely. But I really, really want to watch this. I love action films. I love Asian action films. They're some of... You know... Yeah. They're a lot like the John Wick films are now. The Asian action films have been like that for years, so... I'm really super, super excited to check this one out. So, yeah. you know, like I said, thanks, Sean, for sending me this. I really, really yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, thank you it. so much. Again, in in the Boop. down below description will be his Instagram. You know. Give him a follow on there, and uh, we'll keep you updated. Yeah, when his YouTube channel drops. Like I said, really nice guy. I really enjoyed the Kill Bills, and I'm mad that it took me so long to finally watch them, because they came out, like, years ago. Yep. Next one. I'm opening it as we're talking. This one is from Mike Hatfield. Because it's still brand new factory sealed. Yeah. Phew. Mike didn't Hatfield. Want the knife. Mike Hatfield. Uh, I think it was right around my birthday. Mm -hmm. He sent. I, I, we did a video that um, I posted that he sent stuff for my son for his birthday. My birthday was actually three days before. And he's like, hey, Joe, I want to send you something for your birthday. You know, let Somebody me message me. Let me know what you want, and I'm like, I don't need nothing. No, you know, he didn't get an answer. I really appreciate it, you know, but you know, I'm good. And he's like, Joe, I'm gonna send you something. Tell me what you want. I'm like, I don't want nothing. You know, you sending something for my son is, is, you know, a lot. I don't. I really don't need anything. I got everything I need. It's not necessary, but yeah. it's very thoughtful. Thank you exactly. so much. So but, it took him a while, but he got an answer out of me. And I think it's the title that I'm thinking of. So go ahead and so crack in. We're going to find out. Oh, wait. There's a piece of paper. Oh, there's a note. Oh, there's a note. Ah! I see what he did there. It says, Happy belated birthday, Joe. I purposely used this notepad 
So you could have a little Christmas in this package, Mike. So there's the note with a little Christmas tree on it. Oh my God, it is the title really that nice. I was thinking of. Oh. Spoiler. I've been wanting this title for a year. So like, it's something that Marie wanted and not for me. And it is. Let's just see first because I don't know what it is. <laughs> what the hell is it? Oh my God, I know <laughs> what this is. I've been wanting it for you for a year. I've wanted this. Tiny Giants in 3D. <laughs> and this, oh my this God. I've been looking for because last year it was like twenty six dollars. I saw it. I saw it when it was like twelve or fourteen dollars, yeah. and I'm like, no, I'll pass. It was like twenty six bucks, and then it dropped to like twelve. And I try to get my 3Ds. Under 10. So a lot of times new ones, are, you're not going to find them under 10. So I've been looking for this one used and never popped up. And then this thing started going out of print because the price on this, for some reason, started climbing. And I'm like, things going to go out of print. I got to buy this thing. This could be bad. It looks like this little guy is trying to chase his nut. You can see it in 3D. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. But it's well, pretty, fun with that yeah, one. Nice cover with a squirrel with nuts in his mouth. But. <laughs> Oh, yeah. You can tell his cheeks are packed with nuts. <laughs> but, oh, yeah. The epic adventures of the world's smallest heroes. You're not going to edit this. No. no. This is a... I'm sorry. A BBC Earth right there. So, oh really, really excited for this because I love my 3D. And you have pretty much anything in 3D. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, I am super excited for that one. I've oh, been yeah. wanting that one for a long time, and it just kept going up, and I'm like, oh, forget it. Yeah. It... Should have grabbed it when it was like 12 or so. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, 3Ds on Best Buy, especially documentaries. The prices on them are starting to skyrocket because they're starting to go out of print, and I'm... Um... That one's up there. You don't see that one that often. No, that one is starting to climb. It's back into the 20s, almost 30 bucks now, and a lot of the 3D documentaries are all climbing into the... 20 to 30 dollars stratosphere so that's why i left it factory sealed i mean i left it packaged yeah but in the description down below will be mike hatfield's instagram as well as his youtube he's a great guy like i said he sent us plenty of stuff oh in the past shout you out know. to the bulldog pillow yeah but like i said in the description check him out give him some follows give him some likes say hi sub you know let him know that joe and marie sent you Next package. You didn't expect that. You thought it was no. something that I wanted. Nope. Next package. I got this again. Oh, just I'm like Am this just one. like Amazon. Best Buy is horrible when it comes to shipping because lately they're just getting cheaper and cheaper. But I got this from Best Buy. I wanted this title in stores, sold out. Mm -hmm. So they had it online, and I'm like. I really don't want to buy this online because, spoiler, it's a steel book. I don't. Shout out to Movie Hunter. Yeah, he's getting excited. I <laughs> um, didn't want to buy it because I know they're gonna throw the steel book in a bubble mailer, and I didn't want it to get it damaged. The bumbling idiot. Yeah, bumblings. But <laughs> back talk. But I got it. But when I got it, Marie's like, "Hey, it doesn't sound good." Oh, I'm it like, sounded "Terrible." I'm like, "Well, open up the package, check the steel book." See that it doesn't have any dents. If it has dents, don't open it. Leave it with the loose disc inside because I'm just going to return it. I didn't want to open it to, you know, have even more problems returning it. Yeah. But I'm like, if, if you don't see no dents, open it, check the disc. So she opened it, checked the disc. This was fine. Mm -hmm. There are, and I'll get to it. There it are, was just a loose Blu-ray disc. Yeah. There is one little scratch. Well, let me phrase that. There's two... Small, dense, but it's... If you want to be, like, super anal. Yeah, they're underneath the J card. Yes, I said anal. Let's uh, back up, and I'll show you the title. And this is the 25th anniversary of Casper on Blu-ray. And this has also has a all-new bonus disc with two feature-length films of Casper... A Spirited Beginning and Casper's Scare School. And then it has five Casper Friendly the Ghost original theatrical 
cartoons that are you want to read those for me i was gonna say that the writing is very tiny that's what she where said. were you reading right here the five yeah oh. right underneath the five casper the friendly ghost original theatrical cartoons spree under the sea once upon a rhyme boo hoo baby to boo or not to boo boo scout and it also includes it's very tiny revealing casper deleted scenes feature commentary with the director brad silberg and more yeah i like so, it for the bonus yeah this Enjoy. thing is chuck full and like i said the Pat. only reason i bought this because i already have casper on blu-ray but the only reason i bought this steelbook is for everything else that it came with the, the two bonus movies and all the cartoons because the cartoons i have a casper i with five cartoons on it i'm not i should have checked before the video but i didn't i have a vhs that has a bunch of casper cartoons that i found at savers last year on oh, vhs yeah. i want to see if those are the cartoons that are on here because then that gets a vhs out of my collection and mm -hmm. the other two casper films i didn't have them at all so now I got all of this in one steel book. So like I said, I'm super excited for it. Side but, note, we also have Curly Sue on VHS. I know, we still gotta get that. Mm. I didn't realize. That's okay. <laughs> but on the back, it's hard to see, but I got some light here. You can see on the back, I'll try to shine it. It's a hairline scratch. Yeah, you can see a couple of scratches, a couple of dents on the back, but nothing major, major. Nothing mm. that I'm gonna say it's gotta go back. Send but it back. You know, I said, I was really happy to get this one. Yeah. At first, I was like, I ain't going to get it. Oh, that's the wrapper. That, uh... Yeah. At first, I was like, I'm not going to get it. But then, I ended up getting it. I don't know. Next thing is something I bought for Marie off of eBay. eBay. My favorite place to shop. Marie wanted this, and she's like, hey, you buy this for me? I was like, sure. So, I picked it up and scooped it up for her. Oh, I was super excited. I already checked it out, of course. Yeah. With eBay, we always open up ahead of time. So we can give them a proper rating. Exactly. Chuck sauce. Okay. And... The white bubble carpet, please. Going. Going. Okay. They probably saw it, but... That was no Bambi, but you might have see seen this. Read Try it. it again. Horrible. And it is. Bambi. This, this is, is a special Bambi. Yeah. This is a dual language Bambi on VHS. Yeah. I didn't do my research and see what kind of language it was in, but it looks like uh, it's written in like Pakistani or something. Yeah. But the really neat thing about this one is it has the um, Mickey Mouse 3D hologram on it to make sure it's official. Yeah, but there it is. This is a uh, fully restored limited edition Walt Disney Classics Bambi. And as you can see on the bottom, it has, it looks like Hebrew. Yeah, or it looks like, like Pakistani writing. Or Saudi right? Arabia. But Yeah, that's the one. You can see it all on the back. I and, love this one. Yeah. And then I'll show you. You can't wait to open it. Uh, can I see the, this? Yeah, I was going to mention that. And then... On you here, my thunder. you could see the writing as well. And they were really nice. They rewound it. But no mold. the thing that I was going to mention is... Yeah. It has the hologram right there. And then it's written on there. We checked everything. I was very excited about that. This is very, very cool. There's artwork on the inside of this that is amazing. I have not seen anywhere else. Go ahead. Yeah. Have it now. Here's the artwork on the inside of it. That was pretty cool. Yeah. When we opened it up and we saw the artwork on the inside, I was like, oh. I'm is, sold. Yeah, that was awesome. It's not brand new factory sealed, but. You got a good deal on it. Yeah, something like this, you're never going to find. You're not going to find many of these. No. It's in a nice little clear case. The yeah. case is a little chipped. But yeah, it has one little small chip on the top, but nothing major. It doesn't have a hole through it. It's just a chip on the actual fin that mm -hmm. sticks up. But It was neat to find that oh, official. Yeah. But Dual language VHS of Bambi. Oh, yeah. But Marie is super, super excited about yeah. that one. That's Bambi. 
Oh yeah, that's a bamboo right there. It's uh also it's PAL, just so you know. It's region two. Mm -hmm. But really happy for Marie for that one. And that is my favorite VHS now. Yeah. Of Bambi. So thank you so much. And then the last thing is an Amazon pre order. This I pre ordered right oh, when Oh that's it, for you. Right when it came out. Oh. I really want I really wanted this. And I was really happy to get it. It's no Bambi, eh? I know, eh. <laughs> but this is Flash Gordon from Arrow. This is the Arrow Limited Edition. And this is the 4K uh, set of um, Flash Gordon. This one was, I think, limited to 3,000, if I'm right. Anybody knows, comment down below. I think it's 3000 But I was really happy to have this one. Here's, you can see right inside, the 4K disc and the booklet. But this is really cool. The only thing with this, if anybody buys it, they came out with two different sets. They came out with a Blu-ray set and a 4K set. The Blu-ray set only has the Blu-ray. The 4K set only has the 4K. It doesn't have the Blu-ray. There's a Blu-ray disc inside that has... All the special features. And on the 4K set that the Blu-ray set doesn't have. And later on with the Amore Well, and with the Amore set. Is it's that it's only in the limited edition. There's a feature length documentary. That's never been released. That's on only on this set. So this set is the more sought after set. Because of that feature length documentary. That's not on anything else. But this has a ton. Ton of bonus features on it. This has, um, uh, comes with, like I said, a big booklet with illustrations, everything about the film. Comes with a huge poster of pretty much that artwork. And it actually has, uh, the movie poster artwork on the backside. But this is a really, really nice. He's almost excited for that as I am for Bambi. Oh, yeah. I, I love the Arrow Limited Editions. So, he does. Yeah, I have an actual spoiler pre-order for another one that's coming out next month. Oh if, boy. If you pre-ordered it, you know what it is. But mm -hmm. I'm really, really happy to have that one. But that is everything that we're going to be showing this week in this video. But You tossed it on my VHS. I know. but Case is damaged. Wait, it is just a little bit. Pretty much every format. Let, let me fix it. Get the arrow on the... There you go. Pretty much every format is going to be shown in this one. There's some Start VHS, off with <laughs> some 4K, some Blu-rays, a DVD, <laughs> some Christmas, and then some more Blu-rays at the bottom. That's a mixed bag. Oh yeah, that's pretty much a mixed bag. You go from VHS to 4K. Wow. Of everything that we collect. But thank you. You can have that one. But. Yeah, like I said, a little bit of everything. A little small little haul on this one. There was going to be some yapping, but like I said, you know, I wanted to show these off. Again, in the description down below will be everybody's Instagram, everybody's YouTube. Check them out. Likes, subs, follows, hearts, tickles. Mm -hmm. I don't know. A little bit of everything. But if you like this video, hit the like button. Pshh. If uh, you didn't like it because Marie's looking down <laughs> at the Bambi, hey, it's all right. Just like it. I think this is the first one I have with a hologram. Um, if you want to subscribe to us, hit the subscription button, hit the notification bell, and we'll have more videos. Yeah, more videos. If you want to leave a comment down below about anything that we showed in this video, start typing away. Spear fingers. Spear fingers. Um, but until next time, guys. Bye. Bye. What am I doing again? Bambi! I don't know. What are we doing? Bye. Bye. I don't know. Bambi. <laughs>